welcome to Blyton Park. Today, we're not testing kit. Instead, we have got a very, very special bike to test. We have got the Bosses Foggy Patronus FP1 to test. This bike, if you've ever been to our headquarters in Boston, normally is on display in the shop. The boss bought it in about 2016. Somehow he got his hands on one because there are only 150 of these in the world. It's been in the shop pretty much ever since. Sitting a bit kind of polished, but that's all it's ever had done to it. And for some reason, he decided he wanted to recommission it, get it back up and running, and he's let us ride it here today at Blyton Park. This bike is in my mind, it's almost like the Loch Ness Monster. For a spell, we didn't even know if they existed. It felt like the Foggy Patronus arm had kind of conned the FIM into thinking there were 150 of these things so that they could take them racing. But it turns out they actually do exist and I'm about to ride it today. I've been waiting a long time to ride this bike and I'm really looking forward to today. There's only one sticking point and that is that all of this morning, it's just rained enough to keep the track wet. It's finally started to dry. Time is running out. So there's a little bit of pressure there to get this done. And also this bike is on brand new tires and it belongs to my boss. So no pressure there, hey? Bloody hell, well, that's quite something that is. Well, that's it, the Foggy Patronus FP1. This has been parked up in our headquarters for about five and a half years. And I think pretty much every day that I've ever seen it, I've just thought I would love a go on that bike. And now I just have. And what to say about it? It is pretty damn special, it's got to be said. I think. I can understand having ridden it, why the road bike never materialized. And there's a pretty simple reason behind that. It's not a road bike. I think if they'd sold these, they would have had all sorts of problems with people bringing them back under warranty and all that sort of stuff, because this is actually just a race bike with some bits bolted on to make it a road bike. They've done a pretty neat job of it. It looks pretty tidy around all those parts that they've added on. But when you ride it, it feels like a big race bike. It's really not the best behaved, but it feels so special just riding around this track here. I didn't get much time today, probably about an hour of track time in total, including coming in and out to get cameras swapped and things like that. So it's not like I've had ages on this bike, but it's enough to get a real grip of what it's like. It's got that kind of on off surge on the throttle. It just wants to go all the time. Whenever I was chopping the throttle, it just didn't like that at all. So I had to be so much more assured and more calm and controlled and really had to keep the throttle open a little bit all the time it just wants to go it's very very rudimentary it feels like stepping back in time quite a long time 
which I guess we are doing. This is going back to 2004. That's when this bike was really at its peak and when they would have brought out a road bike for 2004, 2005. A load of that modern stuff, when you strip it away, you really feel like there's a real rawness to this bike. But if I'm making it sound like it's a bit crap, I really don't mean to. It's very, very special. It's a hell of an experience to have ridden this bike. When I finally got to spend some time on the track, it was still damp and soggy and I needed to scrub in those tires. We just needed to get out and get on with it. So I didn't get a lot of time, but as the track dried, it felt like I could really bring that experience through. I could get those tires working and it felt like I was really starting to ride it in the way that it should be ridden. It's been a hell of an experience to have ridden it. I'm really pleased that I have. And I think hopefully looking at it, you can confirm for me and maybe let the boss know that it is in one piece. So now I can wheel it back, tell him that, and we can put it back in the shop and then everyone else can walk through there, look at it and go, do you know what? I wish I could ride that too.